Hello and welcome this is Hina Talati and you are watching its tomorrow news. A winter storm Glandon will spread a mass of snow, sleet and freezing rain from the Rockies to the plains, Midwest and parts of the Northeast US through Friday. A blustery winter storm is expected to sweep through nearly 2000 miles of the central United States starting on Tuesday evening bringing a mix of freezing temperatures, heavy snow and potentially hazardous traveling conditions from parts of the New Mexico and Texas up through the Illinois and Michigan weather officials said. Parts of the New Mexico are expected to get as much as 14 inches of the snow most on Wednesday night and some low-lying areas will remain below freezing from Tuesday night through Friday or Saturday according to the National Weather Service. By Friday morning, the temperatures in the parts of the eastern New Mexico could feel like a 20 to 25 degrees below zero with the wind chill factor, said the meteorologist with the weather service. A fresh supply of Arctic air is moving into the nation's midsection as a sharp southward plunge of the jet stream cows into the western and central US, pulling increasing moisture northward over the cold air. Whenever this setup happens in the midwinter, it can deliver a widespread area of snow and ice that affects multiple regions over the course of several days. During this period, icing could be heavy enough to knock out the power and cause a tree damage in some areas. Airlines have cancelled hundreds of the flights on Tuesday and the governors of the major states have urged residents to stay off the roads and schools closed campuses as a huge swath of US is braced for a major winter storm that was set to put millions of the Americans in the path of heavy snow and freezing rain. More than a foot of the snow is possible in Michigan on the hills of the vicious nor'easter last weekend that brought lizards conditions to many parts of the east coast. Illustrating the widespreading nature of this storm is the fact that the winter storm warnings, winter storm watches and winter weather advisories have been issued by the National Weather Service for an area that stretches from Colorado and New Mexico to the east part of Maine. Many areas could pick up at least 6 inches of the snow along the path of London in northern New England including Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Detroit, Buffalo and Burlington, Vermont. Travel will become hazardous because of the snow, sleet and or freezing rain on one or multiple days in these regions through the end of the week. Areas that see significant icing could have at least some power outages and tree damage, especially from the parts of the eastern Oklahoma into the Ozarks and portions of the mid-Mississippi and Ohio valleys. In addition to this, the fresh cold air sweeping in during and behind the storm could leave roads treacherous well after the storm is over. Given forecast lows into the, at least the teens into the parts of the northern Texas and single digits or colder in the central plains and midwest. The storms follows a vicious nor'easters that brought blizzard conditions in many parts of the east coast on Saturday. The nor'easter has already walloped a number of northeast states including the New York, New Jersey and Massachusetts with some declaring emergencies over the storm system as another high impact storm began to take shape. The storm system delivered on that threat has already brought more than 30 inches of the snowfall to parts of the Massachusetts between Saturday and Sunday and nearly 25 inches of the snow to parts of New York within the same time period. In New York, the inclement weather was believed to have potentially played a role in the deaths of at least four people on Long Island. Long Island was hit especially hard by the snowstorm with snow totals hitting 24.7 inches. During the multi-day storm this week, some areas may see a mix of rain and freezing rain before it changes to snow. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.